Is 8020 style T-slotted extruded aluminium the best product for a van build? Probably not, but it was the best product for this van build and it might be the best product for yours. So in this vlog I'll be telling you how it's been to work with extruded aluminium and how much it's cost. So, what is T-slotted aluminium and why is it finding favour amongst quite a few fan builders? Usually supplied in square lengths of various thicknesses, down most sides of each length runs a T-shaped gully to allow the insertion of a variety of fixings. You would use it in a van build instead of wooden framing, creating cabinetry, uh, supporting systems, appliances and decor. Um, much, much stronger than wood, it's likely you would use thinner sections and perhaps less of it, possibly saving some considerable weight. And it will always maintain its integrity, adding much stiffness to a van build, eliminating flexing and subsequent squeaks. I was quite surprised that once I'd finished just my bed build alone, my back door stopped squeaking. Aluminium extrusion is also a very forgiving and future-proof material. It can be quickly and easily removed, added and infinitely and accurately adjusted without any fuss or damage. So this easily allows any future remodelling or system changes. Now these aren't perhaps reasons enough to choose using extruded aluminium because it is quite expensive, made more so by the cost of the fixings. So why did Nicky and I choose to use it and why do we think it was the better option? Before Nicky and I had even considered the interior of the van, we'd gone and built ourselves a rack to support our solar, uh, some decking, and much later a Fiamma awning that we bolted on the side. Now our past adventures had mainly been in 4x4s with roof tents on a dedicated expedition style rack, usually formed from T-slotted alloy to allow for many fixing points for a range of accessories. Now Nicky and I wanted a similar rack for our van. We'd seen that Frontrunner made a system for the Volkswagen Transporter, but unfortunately there was nothing available for the Ducati style of van other than builder style racks. We did find exactly what we wanted made for the Promaster in the States but with a hefty price tag which excluded the shipping um, we decided to have a go and make our own rack using T-slotted extruded alloy. The build was straightforward. Fitting the accessories were made easy by utilising the T-slots which included the very easy fitting of our Fiamma awning. Now at about a quarter of the cost of buying and shipping a dedicated rack we honestly believe we've created a much better rack system. I know it's been a while since we created our vlog on the roof rack build but we are delighted many of you have watched it and decided to do your own. And after successfully building a rack system of our own, Nicky and I not only realised the strength and adaptability of extruded aluminium, but on the interior of the van, we think it looks absolutely amazing. Now, looks alone can be reason enough to opt for extruded aluminium, but as the van build progresses, we have realised there are many more advantages that complement the other systems we've already adopted in the van build. Strong secure fixings has allowed us to build direct to the van's framework, negating the usual wooden framing undertaken for a suitable support structure. The same can be said for our floor, only fitting support where we've needed it, limiting the materials we have used to only what's necessary. Building structures before insulating and trimming has also limited the amount of materials, only having to floor where we walk and fit decorative panels where we see them. This has saved us much weight and allows easy sectional access to all systems right back to the van's metal sides without destroying any of the van's interior for monitoring, repairs or renewals. At any one time, if I need to access any services that run behind this in my van, all I have to do is that. Now by far the greatest advantage of all, specifically for this build, having a fully ventilated insulation system, for reasons we'll give in an up and coming vlog, is that by using T-slotted extrusions we have negated any supporting divides between all of our cabinetry, fitting all drawer slides, door hinges and shelving direct to the alloy. It has given us inhibited airflow throughout our cabinets, all the way from the front of the van to the back. 
So working along with our venting insulation system, any moisture is quickly wicked and vented away. And with easy access to monitor, we can honestly say we've had zero condensation issues. So you got to this point in the video and Paul has probably explained all the pros of using extruded alloy. Now we get to the nitty gritty of it and there are a possible couple of cons that we're going to explain to you. Well, there are a couple of things that spring to mind. One is regardless of the fact that we've used bits of rubber between the van sides and the aluminium extrusions uh, as a thermal break, the aluminium extrusion is very, very cold to touch. And regardless of how warm we keep the environment, you wouldn't want to get caught with your pants down getting out of bed in the depths of winter. However, there is a positive side to that though. If you're in the south of France in the middle of summer, you may appreciate a leg out of bed to try and find those cold spots. And secondly, what may be a negative that you're all wanting to know is the cost. We spent just shy of £4,000 on aluminium and fixings for both the interior of the van and the aluminium roof rack. But I do believe though that there are savings to be made and we could have brought that bill down to about £2,000. So let's see what we got for our money and let's see where we could have made some savings. After completing the roof rack we turned our attention to creating a raised bed above a garage large enough to house our two e-bikes. Four pieces of 40 by 40 extrusions spanned the van and easily fixed to two pieces of angled alloy that gave us our designed height for the bed. This alone would have been enough to provide adequate support for a bed and where we could have made quite a saving had we not wanted to support two heavy duty slide out trays. We continue to use extrusion to make one overwheel arch unit that stacks three lithium ion batteries and supports our electrics, one overwheel arch unit that supports an auxiliary 60 litre water tank, and combined with several down pieces, all support two 200 gram slides to easily access our bikes and storage boxes. Once we'd built the bed over garage to accommodate our van lifestyle, we proceeded to build a unit to house an eye-level fridge with five inbuilt drawers and space for a handy pull-out pocket store that can access our off-site electrical systems. This unit also supports a bench, under which is our combi boiler, and with a flip-up lid and front door we have handy access to our composting toilet. On the opposite side we have our kitchen unit supporting not the lightest of mistral work surfaces to include an oven, sink, hob, a handy cupboard and three drawer units that can easily be removed to access our near side electrical systems. Three overhead lockers in 30 by 30 extrusion finish the build over our bench sheet, kitchen area and bedroom easily fixing direct to our van ceiling and walls accommodating pop out access for our van systems making for very strong and lightweight units. Now what I've failed to mention is that very important lengths of 40 by 40 extrusion run the length of the van's floor, supporting all of the above and allowing accessible support for any future rearranging and design changes. Now alternative rack systems, or even no rack at all, along with a simpler underbed system would have still provided the same aesthetic interior at about half the cost. You may therefore find that this is within your budget and really worth considering. I can't say that similar systems and build techniques can't be achieved using wood, but aluminium extrusion has made for a very compact build. We have systems upon systems, there is a place for everything and everything has a place. Aluminium extrusion has allowed us to fully build around our van lifestyle, rather than build a van and hope it all fits. Now I hope you found this vlog very very useful and hope you haven't been put off using aluminium extrusion. We'd like to thank JKN Aluminium for their support and supplying the aluminium extrusion and also we'd like to thank George at Humble Road for giving us the idea about using aluminium extrusion in the first place. Now if anybody watching this vlog has also used aluminium extrusion, please make a comment down below that may help others. Or if you've got any ideas or any questions or concerns, do get in touch with us on Facebook at Van Life My Way. Many thanks for watching and look forward to catching you on the next vlog.